A recent study has revealed that good hearing can keep our minds sharp and help keep dementia at bay. Dr. Vicki Sanchez from the University of Florida is here to share the fascinating findings from Achieve. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you so much for the opportunity to talk about the Achieve study. Listen, tell, tell us about this, the study and what you were looking for when you launched this particular research. Sure. So the ACHIEVE study stands for the Aging and Cognitive Health Evaluation in Elder Study. It is the first long-term randomized controlled trial that evaluated hearing interventions, including a hearing aid, versus a control intervention with no hearing aid. And what we found is that those with an increased risk of having cognitive decline, if they received the hearing intervention, we reduced that cognitive decline. So in other words, treating hearing loss could potentially help older adults maintain thinking and memory abilities as they get older. Well, we always hear, uh, at least we're hearing uh, more recently, that we hear with our brains and not our ears. Is this what the study is showing us? Absolutely. We definitely hear with our brains um, and our in our ears at the same time. The ear does a great job of collecting the sound, starting to analyze it, and then sending it up to the brain, where the brain actually has to decode it and understand it. So there's such a strong connection between the ear and the brain in order for us to communicate. So what does this mean for uh, people in America who are already experiencing some hearing loss? Yeah, if anyone's starting to notice hearing concerns, I would highly recommend that they communicate to their primary care provider, go seek a audiological evaluation, get their hearing tested to find out where they're at. Um, they may still have normal hearing, so they can, they can learn information about hearing loss prevention, making sure they're protecting their hearing as best as they can. But if a hearing loss is identified, then they should really consider uptaking the hearing intervention and technological solutions that are out there such as hearing aids because they can make a really big difference. Are you seeing that hearing aid professionals, hearing technology professionals who have centers and, and uh, already audiologists are picking up on this and understand the ramifications of the results of that study? Absolutely. There's lots of educational efforts. Um, Phonic has been empowering audiologists and healthcare providers and so forth in order to better understand the hearing and brain connection. So audiologists have good information that they can also share with their patients to better understand the connection between the ear and the brain. Well, there's so many uh, hearing devices out there. It's, it's really a challenge without a professional to decide which is best for you. Yeah, the best place to start is a thorough evaluation. So hearing intervention, hearing aids are not a one size fit all. Um, there's lots of different technology solutions that are out there and it really needs to be matched to this patient specific hearing loss as well as their lifestyle. And having that being guided by a professional is very key to ultimate success. Can you send the viewers to a website or, or a place where they can read the, the entire study? Yeah, sure. More information about the Achieve study can be found at achievestudy.org. And more information about hearing aids and cognition can be found at phonac.com backslash cognition. Dr. Vicki Sanchez, thank you very much. Thank you. And more lifestyles after this. Stay with us.